The cozy bay section of Isimangaliso, which borders Mozambique, is a rich tapestry of lakes, and it has been described as the last haven of untouched African paradise. It is a wonderland of blue sea and dazzling white beaches, wetlands and lakes, reed channels and mangrove swamps. This northernmost section of the wetland park is only accessible with a 4x4. The road down to Cozy Bay Mouth is breathtaking, with a few fun water crossings along the way. It is also one of South Africa's most quiet beaches. a trip of the Isimangaliso wetland park and that includes about a 200 kilometer stretch of beautiful pristine coastline. Right now we are at a spot called Cozy Bay Mouth where four lakes mouth into the ocean and there is a snorkeling spot here that is so clear and special it's called the aquarium. After the heavy rains, the rivers had washed down a lot of silt and other nutrients, so the normally crystal clear water was now brown. But nonetheless, the visibility wasn't too bad and the marine life was spectacular. The Cozy Bay Lake System is an estuary-linked lake system composed of four interconnected, roughly circular lakes. The water in the first lake is fresh water and the lakes become increasingly saline as the tides ebb and flow from the Indian Ocean. On the western shores of the second lake lies the Ezem Velo campsite and this might just be our favourite campsite ever. We just arrived at the Cozy Bay campsite and we are going to go on a boat trip onto the lake system with Cozy Forest Lodge. We've done this I think three or four times but it doesn't get old. It is one of the most beautiful boat rides you can do in South Africa. Let's go. The route meanders through reed channels and mangrove forests and with some of the clearest water in the world, it very much looks and feels like the Okavango Delta. things about this boat ride is that there's a small spot here where you can snorkel in between the mangroves. Let's go. Haven't we snorkeled enough? Never! Okay. 
Mkhozi Bay is the only place in South Africa where all five species of mangrove occur and the roots create an intricate maze where many creatures can safely live and breed. You can expect to see hippos and all kinds of birds on this boat ride, but the main attraction is definitely the traditional Tsonga fish crawls, a sustainable method of fishing passed down for generations. These traps have been used in these lakes for over 700 years. The way those fish crawl, how they work, it's to design to catch the fish that they will swim back, they was on their way back to the sea, but they, they are not building to allow to catch the fish that they come or on the, on, the, on, the, on the lake. It's where that it, you will be caught that fish. So they designed to catch the fish that they finish to do breeding and then they just swim back to the ocean. On those fish crawl, while father dies, uh, they send this fish crawl to the sun. But they didn't send this fish crawl to the girls because if they send it to the girls and the girls, while they get married, they can change the sending. So this fish crawl, they're supposed to stay uh, on the same family. The Tonga people have been migrating in and out of South Africa for over a thousand years and around these parts of St. Lucia Bay from as early as the 1300s. And they owe some of their success here to a tiny little insect. This place originally, that was a place for the Zulus. So you know the different the Zulus and the Tonga. The Tonga, those are the fishermen. We normally find the Tonga people along the coast. But the Zulus, those are the cattle farmers. They prefer to eat meat, but the Tonga, we prefer to eat fish. So it's about 100 years ago, uh, this place that was a place for the Zulus. But the time he was a war in Mozambique, the rest of Tonga, they ran uh, from Mozambique and then they came here. While they came here and they meet the Zulus. And there was a second war between the Zulus and the Tonga because the time the Tonga, they came from Mozambique, they came with a big number. And they thought maybe the Zulus, while the Tonga, they are much more here. They can occupy the beautiful, huge grassland. This is where the Zulus, they lead a cow uh, for grazing. God, he was created the small insect. That insect, we call it a tete. But tete, these tete flies, they was coming on the bad time while the Zulus and the Tonga, they were busy fighting. And the Zulus, the time they noticed that uh, it's a small insect that they're hiding on the grass, while the cow, they swallow that grass, they get a disease and then they die. But the time the Zulus, they notice that, oh, it's a lot of cow that they're dying now. And then they didn't think that it's a natural insect. They thought maybe it's a magic that they bring. With the, they came with the Tonga. It's a way that the Tonga, they want to occupy this beautiful land. But the Zulus that they see, oh, there's a lot of cow that they're dying and they decide to move away in inland. So they leave the rest of the Tonga people. That's why now along the coast, we found a lot of Tonga people here in Kosi Bay. This place is unique in that Isimangaliso is not only preserving the natural habitat and ecosystems, but they recognize that these fish traps are also a tradition that has to be preserved and with it, the livelihood of the families that depend on it. When we reached the shore, a beautiful forest cobra welcomed us to camp.
I'm sitting here with a cold beer at the Parks Board Cozy Bay campsites and I've never camped at this specific spot before. We've always wanted to, but we actually got space this time. It's campsite number one and number two, and you are on the lake. It is beautiful, and the weather played along so nicely. You wouldn't say there was a cyclone that came through here. So yeah, feet in the water, cold beer. Cheers. Life is very good. It's no secret that I don't really like using tin foil because it is environmentally unfriendly. So I figured out a way to use it so that you don't need to have a lot. A lot of people like to double wrap their potatoes because then if you put it in really hot coals it doesn't burn the skin. So I put the margarine or butter on first because then it draws into the potato and makes it really nice and juicy. But then cleverly fold it so the foil covers this side twice and then I use the flaps going one side other side and now my potato has foil at least two layers of foil all around and it's only a little small square like this This place really is so special. Every single time we come to Cozy Bay, we just fall in love with this place all over again. It's just so, so spectacular. And I really think that everybody should put a visit to Cozy Bay, a snorkel in the mouth, and a boat ride on the lake system on their to-do list. It really is something worth seeing. You can't believe it's on the coastline of South Africa. So from here, we are going to pop to a place that's actually just across the lake, but we need to drive around to get there. And this place is called Bunga Neck. Tonight, we are going to see if we can see some baby turtles hatching on the beach. I'm super excited. Come, Derki.